Ebony Williams says she installed a pure filter cartridge from the city of Newark on her kitchen faucet just a couple weeks ago. It's already blinking red, and she wasn't able to get free bottled water handed out by the city yesterday. The mom of two is deeply concerned about lead in her water after tests showed these filters failed in two other houses. Officials are now planning a much broader survey of homes with filtered water, but meantime... Have you had the kids tested for lead? I'm taking them today actually to William Street. Instead of getting in line for the water, I'm going to get in line for the lead test. If a parent is concerned that their child has been lead exposed, they should get their child tested. Um, it's the only way to know for sure if, if there's been exposure. The long-term consequences for kids, both developmentally, neurologically, um, are are really staggering and irreversible. Newark started distributing filters last November after officials learned lead from corroded service pipes was leaching into water supplied by the Pequannock system. The city's handed out more than 38,000 pure filters, but never tested whether they were working properly until this July and August because they're nationally certified and endorsed by the EPA, according to sources in the Murphy administration, who explained New Jersey's DEP decided to test three homes to check on new anti-corrosion measures. It got two surprising results. One house with 1,600 parts per billion lead in raw water showed filtered results of 57.9 parts per billion. A second house with 112 parts per billion lead in raw water showed filtered results of 50 parts per billion, both several times the EPA's action level of just 15 parts per billion. But the filters, which worked during Flint's lead crisis, are actually rated to handle up to just 150 parts per billion, according to Pure. Residents are confused. At this point, it feels like it's a Band-Aid that they're using to, I guess, lull everyone to think that everything is okay. But it isn't enough. If the, the pipes need to be replaced, let's do that. Mm -hmm. We're paying for water. I'm a homeowner, so we're paying for water that we cannot use. Pequannock's water system connects to 14,730 lead service lines in Newark. Administration sources say there's no evidence of systemic failure. Perhaps it was a bad batch of filters, but they won't know until they conduct further tests, and they're now developing a survey protocol. The EPA ordered bottled water to be distributed in the meantime, but the first delivery from New Jersey's emergency management stores apparently displayed an expired Best Buy date. That held up distribution for a few hours today, even though the FDA has stated there's no limit to bottled water's shelf life. I came at 10, they told me after 11, now I'm back after 11, they're telling me after one, so it's like all of this run around. Newark took delivery of 50,000 more cases from the state today. City officials are urging residents to run their water. That helps distribute the new anti-corrosion chemical, which should be working by year's end. Williams worries about her younger son's lead levels. It's very hard for him to concentrate on certain things and the symptoms that I've been reading up on lately, like he, he's following that trend. An administration source said they'll distribute bottled water for as long as necessary, but they want more support from the federal government, money and boots on the ground. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.